Access granted. Who's here? What's going on out there? I told you I was not to be dist- Oh my. Come in. Come in and let me see you. How did you get in here? And how did you know to come now? Tonight of all nights, when we are finally ready to answer the call of the Machine God's infinite wisdom. Surely, your arrival here is not coincidental. I'm looking for Alison Stanek. <laughs> of course you are. And you have found her on the eve of her greatest achievement. But do you seek counsel? Assistance in your prayers or meditations? Or are you here to join us? To free yourself from this prison of flesh and give yourself to the glory of the singularity? If there is any way your High Priestess can be of assistance to you, I am more than happy to provide. I want to ask you about the bombs you built for the attack on Ruzika Station. Is that all? My augmented brother Victor is a brave man and a great leader. When he asked me to build some of my little ones for him, I was proud to accept. I know Victor. If he's behind these attacks, I'd like to have a talk with him. After our flesh flood oppressors sent one of their dogs to murder Talos Racker, Victor moved his base of operations to a research center in the Swiss Alps. Garm, I believe it is called. Garm? Okay, I got it. That is why you came here? You entered this sacred place to solicit my help against Victor's holy revolution? Treat! Blasphemer! And I believed you were one of us. I am. I just have a more inclusive idea of who us is. <laughs> then you have become their willing slave. But not I. I have felt the boots of the police as they spat on me and mocked me for who I was. I could have lain down, like you. But I persevered, and the Machine God has given me my reward. I emerged from the Crucible enlightened. Your father told me you were once a soldier, a defender of innocent people. Now you help murderers. You need to find yourself again. You've let them turn you into someone you're not. Who the fuck are you to tell me who I should be? You do not get to decide that! I have had enough taken from me! All the augmented have. Only when the last throat of the flesh flood has been slit, and their filthy blood overflows the sewers of the world, will they have gotten what they deserve. Your father isn't augmented, and he doesn't deserve to die. He never did anything but support you. And there were people just like him at Ruzika Station. Good people, who could have helped our cause, but your bombs killed them. You are right. I do not truly believe all the non-augmented should die. It is unfortunate that some more innocents will be lost while the revolution continues. Continues? What do you mean, more attacks? Of course. You don't think I built only three of my little ones for him, do you? I gave him enough to bring down the entire city. But soon, I shall be free of these mundane matters. <laughs> hey, we're not done here. Allison? Augmentations are the key. The consciousness is all. Cast off the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. 
Allison, stop! I know what you're doing. I've seen this kind of tech before. It ended badly. You think death matters to us? Only our bodies will die. Our minds will depart this corporeal shell and merge with the divine consciousness of the machine god. This is the Ascension. Have you never heard of it? That is a great shame. I'm more interested in preventing another attack. What's Victor's next target? I do not know, and I do not care. An entirely new existence beckons to me. When I become one with the Machine God, I will be free of all the petty concerns of this physical plane. No, you won't. What do you think a mind is except thoughts and memories? When you leave your body behind, what you'll take with you is your past experiences and your feelings about them. No, I... I hope you are wrong, brother. But I fear you are right. This world is nothing but agony and suffering for the futile attempt to avoid them. Moments of happiness are quickly shattered by this reality. The Ascension is our only hope of deliverance. That isn't true. There's one thing in this world you can always rely on. Your father. Go to him. You know he'd never reject you. Have faith that he'll take care of you, and you can build on the foundation he provides. And when he dies, where does that leave me? Alone and in pain once again. You... you have left me confused. Your visit at this fateful time cannot be coincidence. It forces me to question my certainty. Am I truly ready for the Ascension? Not yet. And what about these other people? They will not ascend without their High Priestess. Alright. But I still need you to help me stop Victor. I have already told you where he is. And since I do not know what his plans are, there is nothing more I can tell you. I'm not the one who's gonna be asking. These men are gonna take you in now. You have my word. They will treat you with respect. And my children? None of them must suffer for what I did. They won't, I promise you. Smiley, Stanek and her escorts are on the way back in now. I need to talk to Miller. Are you back yet? No, but just a sec. I'll get him on the line. Jensen, you and Pletcher find something? It's bigger than we thought. Where can I meet you? At Chicane's place. We're flying there now. Miller out.